C1. You are listening at FameTV.info. Dahe, don't run. Mu, the black yak seemed to be unable to bear the music, and after making a few sounds, he hurriedly buried his head in the grass, the shepherd boy had to spend a lot of effort to calm the black yak before he finally had time to look up to see where the explosion was coming from. It turned out that there was something falling from the sky, and it directly caused the hill behind him to explode. Waves of smoke rose into the air, intense curiosity drove Yi Jifa, so he calmed the frightened black yak and rode him back to the mountain. Unexpectedly, the black yak had only run for a short distance and was still a section away from the top of the hill, yet he was unwilling to take even a single step further. Yi Jifa could only turn around and jump off the back of the ox, while leaning on his short legs, he continued to advance, when he arrived at the top of the mountain. He was able to clearly see what exactly had smashed out the loud sound, a dark blue crystal about the height of an adult was inserted into the middle of a huge hole that was about 20 feet deep. At this time, the smoke in the hole had gradually dispersed, and Yi Jifa discovered that the soil of the hole had already become extremely smooth, to the point that it looked like a mirror from afar. In Yi Jifa's previous life, he had seen meteorites before, but he had never heard of any meteorite that had such a bright and clean surface. Being driven by curiosity, he had wanted to take a closer look, but he didn't expect his feet to slip and slide down the edge of the huge pit, the crater was smooth and had no support. Although Yi Jifa saw that he was about to slide towards the crystal stone quickly, he couldn't do anything about it. How could his head be as tough as a rock? With this collision, a large amount of blood immediately gushed out of Yi Jifa's heart, and this time, the only thing that remained in his mind, which was obstructed by the blood, was. Am I going to die? After that, his vision turned black, and he would never wake up. As for that crystal, it had also turned into a ray of light and entered his body. Yi. Z, Yi. Z, wake up. Did I transmigrate again? Or was it that King Yama was shouting his name, this world was not like earth, where things like gods and ghosts existed everywhere. If there really was a Yama from the underworld, Yi Jifa would not be surprised that he was worried that the Rakshasi would turn into a demon the moment he opened his eyes, so he tightly closed his eyes. However, the voice that entered his ears sounded very familiar, and in the end, he couldn't help but open his eyes. Uncle Wong, why is it you? Why isn't it me? We heard a noise here, so we all ran over to take a look. In the end, we discovered that you fell into the pit. However, this brat's life is really big, he actually didn't get injured even after falling down like this, his luck really isn't bad. Yi Jifa straightened his upper body and discovered that other than Uncle Wang, there were also a few other villagers surrounding them. He hurriedly expressed his gratitude to everyone, however. After hearing Uncle Wang's words, he quickly reached out to touch his forehead, but found that beside some dirt, there was not a single trace of blood on his retracted hand. Where did he go when he was bleeding all over his head? Seeing that Yi Jifa was fine, everyone was relieved and started to discuss the explosion again. This is truly strange. I heard the sound clearly and also saw the pit, but why is there nothing in the pit? Knowledge, did you see anything in the pit? There was nothing in the PIT. Why Yi Jifa anxiously turned his head over, only to realize that the hole was empty. The gigantic indigo crystal had disappeared, and there was only a deep hole in the center of the hole. Uncle Wang, in the pit. He was just about to tell Uncle Wang about the indigo crystal when he suddenly felt a wave of fear and alarm in his heart. It was as if if, if he had the guts to say one more word, a great disaster would befall him, thus, Yi Jifa hurriedly changed his words, and did not dare to say what he had heard at that time, dot. There's nothing in the hole. I just wanted to see what was down there. The villagers did not doubt that Yi Jifa was lying, they only discussed and said that they would be going to find a temple in two days, and left one by one. Only the Uncle Wang felt pain by Yi Jifa falling unconscious, so he did not need to put the cow on the ground today, he could just go home and rest. Why Yi Jifa had something on his mind, so he agreed and sat on the black yak's back as he followed Uncle Wang back to the village. His small house was right next to the Uncle Wang's house. However, unlike the Uncle Wang, who was waiting for his parents and wife, 
Yi Jifa's house was empty. This was only natural. As an orphan who had been picked up by the villagers as an infant, apart from a jade pendant with his name written on it, there was nothing else that his real family had left for him. Even this name was called Yi Wen by the villagers, but only he could clearly remember Yi Jifa's big name, however, Yi Jifa had long gotten used to this kind of loneliness due to the adult soul, but he really couldn't understand what had happened today. Lying on the bed, Yi Jifa took out the jade pendant with the name carved on it from under his pillow and started rubbing it with his palm, this was also a habit of his when he was thinking, and the only question that was lingering in his mind was, was that indigo crystal really a fantasy? Why Yi Jifa had clearly seen the crystal stone with his own eyes, and he had even bumped into it until he was bleeding from the head. How could the crystal stone and the wound disappear in an instant even though he had a way of thinking that was more viable than anyone in this world, his knowledge and understanding of this world still restricted him. How could the current Yi Jifa know the most secret that the entire world did not know of? After being troubled for a while, Yi Jifa took back the jade and let out a long breath. He decided not to put the crystal matter aside first. How secretive could this crystal be? Could it be more worth worrying about than the matter of his transmigration? Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.